<clears throat> Hello and welcome back to the TriCraft server with me, Trionus, using the Crack Pack Mod Pack. Uh, so, um, I think I probably have a little bit of an apology to make. Um, my last couple of videos may not have been as good. Uh, because of me personally, because the uh, last couple of days or so I've been rather down and in the du dumps and uh, probably a little bit depressed. Uh, basically, as you know, one of my pets died this week, uh, which really got to me a bit. And then at work, uh, my bosses decided to try and blame me for a complaint that had been put in. And it just, it kind of all built up and, uh, you know, I'm not one to back down from my bosses. I'm not a brown nose, if you understand that meaning. I will fight and I will stand my ground. I don't care who they are. I don't care if they've got a management or director management or whatever title they've got. They are only human and they can be flushed down the toilet just as easily as, yeah. So... <laughs> I do apologise that I've been a bit down. Um, hope now I've got a couple of more, couple of days off work now. Uh, I've got Friday and Monday off, so that's probably why I'm a bit cheery now. I'm, I don't have to face them. I don't have to get up at five o'clock in the morning and all that. So I do apologise that I might have sounded a little bit down in my videos. I hope you can understand. Um, but obviously, I don't want to let you guys down either by not putting videos out. I know I don't have many viewers, and most of them are the tryhards. Uh, I know I've got one or two other people, like uh, Coffee Hound, who has haven't heard from from in a while, and uh, a new subscriber who's uh, just joined recently, Connor, I believe your name is. Uh, I can't think what your name is at the moment. I do apologise. Um, he's just recently asked to join the server, but uh, we've just taken on White Tiger. We're a bit full at the moment. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> Anyway, um, Connor did actually recommend that I get rid of the uh, other mana, uh, the undiluted one, and I have done that. Uh, I'll show you what I've done in a minute. Uh, so I'll head out. Uh, I don't know if I've done right or wrong. Uh, I'm going to be sorting out this armor in a second because we've had a visitor, or two visitors. Uh, someone's made me some night vision potions. Uh, so thank you very much for whoever's made them. I'm presuming it's either going to be Darcy or Eddie because when I asked uh, about the night vision potion on, for my dark helm, um, I didn't know what the recipe was. And there's nothing in NEI about uh, normal vanilla night potions. Just this night of the veil of the night owl sight from. Botania. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't know what the recipe was. I'm not a vanilla player. I don't normally use potions myself. Uh, normally my arm is that good. I don't need it. <laughs> um, but we've also had another visitor, uh, Killer Bad, who has been absolutely awesome. Uh, so you needed emeralds and ender pearls. So here's an enderman spawner. Wouldn't mind the spawner back when you've done. No promises. No, <laughs> uh, no. honestly, uh, I will try to get it back. Uh, I've got that soul shard, so hopefully I'll be able to make my own enderman spawner. So that's very cool, and this is what he's done for me. He's given me four ender pearls and four lots of eight. Uh, yes, half a stack of emeralds, which is more than what I need. So thank you very much, Killabad. I really do appreciate that. And obviously that's going to be the, uh, monster, the enderman spawner. So I'll be able to use that, maybe in correlation with the uh, the flower that I made, the vinct vinctilus, whatever it's called, <laughs> uh, and be able to use my show sword, and I'll be able to get a few kills on it, and then I'll be able to give you back the spawner. So once again, Kellabad, absolutely awesome. Thank you very, very much. I love it. Uh, so yeah, now I can actually get on with upgrading my armor even more. Uh, 
because uh, this is what I needed these emeralds for. I only really needed four, so half a stack is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so I'm just hoping I've got the levels, and we'll be doing these. It's a mystery safari nets as well in a bit after I've just upgraded my armor. Uh, so what I need is four vibrant crystals. Uh, vibrant. Uh, let's just try crystals instead. Might be easier. Pulsating vibrant crystal. Here we are. So one ender pearl and vibrant alloys, uh, which is the ender pearls, which I can use Eddie uh, Eddie's adds ender pearls for this. Energetic alloy, which is glowstone, gold, and glowstone. Okay. Don't think I've got any of this made. It shouldn't take too long, I don't think, so we just need four of them. Uh, four gold, I should have some in here. And four redstone. Excellent. Uh, turn that into alloys and stick you in there. Alright, cool. Alright, so while we're waiting for them to cook up, uh, I'm going to sort out uh, a little bit of an area. Uh, come on, I should have more fences than that. Uh, yeah, here we are. Hmm, they never where I put them. My organization skills at its finest. Yes. Right. Um. So I'm just going to sort out a little area. Let's see if we can't sleep. Eddie will probably beat me to it. I'll probably. Just get to the bed and Eddie will go to sleep. And uh, no, I've actually beat him to it. Good grief. Well, that's uh, once in the last time. I don't normally get any sleep in this game. Uh, <laughs> so, yep. Yeah. Alright, okay, so I'm just going to sort out an area. Uh, oh, yes, this is what I've done with the botany. I have got rid of that uh, thing. There, which I had that went straight into that and whatnot. Uh, and I did transfer a lot of this manor across into this pool. I think this one is actually full now, so it is powering that with no problems. Uh, I've just got to remember I've got to come here for the manor, not there until that one refills if I do any more botania. Uh, but I think. For now, we'll leave it there, and we might come back to it a bit later on. Um, oh yeah, somewhere up here, we'll just make, make a little enclosure pen thing. Uh, I'm hoping we'll be alright. This is a little bit more nerve-wracking than doing a, a lucky block sort of thing. Um, I need to make more than one enclosure uh, as well. Uh, it just depends on what we get, I suppose. Let me just knock that out because I can walk through that easy enough. Okay, because uh, the thing is with these, it's a mystery thing. Uh, <laughs> I suppose it could be anything from a harmless chicken uh, to maybe the Ender Dragon. Who knows? I don't know. I've never actually had mystery uh, safari nets before so this sh I'm hoping this will be interesting uh, let me just grab these uh, I'm gonna need all the XP I can get thank you very much uh, hopefully these should be done probably in here somewhere there they are I need to grab those Oops. Grab those ender pearls. Bump, 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 and bump. Uh, and turn them into the vibrant alloys that I need. I probably don't need four to be thinking about it now, but um, we should be okay. What did I want? Oh, yes, I wanted to actually sort this out and put these in there. Alright, cool. Uh, just I've just spotted these, so I'll just use these. And it should be okay. And 
do the daily jobs. I don't know if there's a way to actually automate this. It looks like I'm going to need a bit more sand. It would be nice if I could automate the oyster pills. It would be very nice. Uh, oh, that's ancient, ancient sand. That's not going to do me. Uh, oh, there's a stack in there. Come here. Thank you. Uh, let's put you in there. That's my Skype going off. Apologies. Um, right, hopefully they should be done. Thank you. And let's make these. Uh, that's one. I, I might actually might need all of these. Thinking about it. Uh, that's enough for two. Two. Yeah, definitely gonna need. Oh, I did actually did right for a change. Wow. Uh, that does make a change. And there's. Two. Okay, I think I need a new. Oh, maybe not. Might need a new one after this though. Uh, dark boots. In there. Enchantment cost twenty. Uh, that needs another twenty. Okay. See, this is what I need all the XP for now. Uh, let's. Oh, I've got enough. Let's just drain it all out and then. We'll see, that's 40. Oh, that might only be enough for two more. Oh well. Never mind. Um, so there's the leggings, and we'll do uh, the, the plate as well. Okay, uh, so it's just the helmet that needs doing, and then, yeah, that's going to be another 20. Right, so we can charge these up anyway. That's cool. Reason why I want this is that empowered does absorb fifty percent of uh, damage, so uh, should be a little bit better. I would like to get the empowered two up as well, but uh, I can make the basic capacitors. It's just getting the levels, and I'd rather get twenty levels for that and have it fully done. I'm not bothered about jump. I'm not bothered about flippers uh, on that. Won't mind speed on these. That would won't be nice. Would would be nice. And then that's just the basic capacitor too. So yeah, getting sorted for some decent armor. Now, like I say, I'm gonna put all this on now. Uh, that one there. All right, cool. So let's do these safari nets. Not as fully protected as I wanted with the other one. Uh, see, already making him lose damage already. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's... Oh, I like that effect on that. Um, let's go and do the first one of these. Uh, like I say, I'm a little bit on the nervous side on these so uh like i say it's a bit more like lucky box let's see what we get a sheep okay i'm not bothered about a sheep you can die okay let's hope for something a little bit better and a cow okay cows can die come on don't be disappointed once i've done all this and we get normal mobs and we get whoa okay a wild boar from the twilight forest, that's cool. I'll keep a wild boar. I uh, would prefer two of them so I could breed them. I know they're just like pigs, but uh, it's still kind of cool. Uh, let's just make a second little pen and we shall see. Uh, what we get next? Anything? Tweet? I heard a tweet. No? Oh! Could that be some sort of bird? Oh, oh what a, what? This is like an XP ball, what are you? The, oh, it's supposed to be a bat, what? It just came up with a bat on that then. <laughs> Weirdest looking bat out. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, anyway, last but not least. 
Let's have a good one, please. Oh, another wild boar. That's fair enough. Uh, I can breed them at least. Uh, so that's not too bad. Obviously, I need to get these guys over there with the rest of them. And we should be okay. Right. Got a little bit of time left. Uh, so we'll just check out the quarry. Um, so let's just run out here. It's still not finished yet. No, it's taking its time. Ooh. Hmm, okay. Out of power. Right, okay. That's not good. I wonder if my the pump needs resetting or have we drained the nether? Either way, we can go and have a look. Let me just check my other areas. I've got oh. I have got, oh, there we are. There we are. We've got, oh, that's completely drained, so that's my obsidian maker not working. And that means the grinder over here is probably also out of power. Yes, you are lucky, you are surviving. Not for long. Right, let's get rid of some of these items and then we'll have a quick run into the nether see if we can't find out what the problem is. Chances are... Uh, let me put this... I don't know why I'm keeping these leather boots. Uh, there we are, we'll put them in there. Hopefully I won't forget where they are. Um... <laughs> Oh yes, that's for Mountain Dew. I'm going to give uh, Mountain Dew that spawn egg eventually. I don't know when. Uh, <laughs> so let me just get this golden bag of holding in because I made this to help with the construction. It's got all the obsidian in for the, uh, the underwater base. Oh, which actually reminds me. Uh, Eddie in the last video commented on it saying it looked like a a behemoth sh underwater shell thing. Uh, so instead of just calling it the underwater base, I think I'm just going to call it the shell. Uh, a little, probably a little bit unreliable, but it's better than saying underwater base. So if I start referring to this thing as I'm going back to the shell, you'll know what I mean. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> so uh, yeah, if you can think of a better name for the base, you know, leave it in the comment section. Um, but with a little bit of food, so yeah, I feel like I'm rushing around a bit now. Oh, Eddie's just gone to sleep. Okay, so let's go into uh, the nether. <laughs> uh, yes, the question, so I'm saying yes, why not? <laughs> Right, let's just check on this portal, and it's not drained by the least. It has made quite a big impact, even undercovered another stone thing there. These uh, stone stone orbs, which is nice, but it's not going through. Why have you decided to stop going through? Hmm. Do I need to reset the chunk loader? The quarry for in here. That's that. There's some in there. It's working fine. That's working fine. Okay. Um... Let me just run back, because if I need to reset the quarry for the trunk, then uh, I'm going to have to do make some uh, landmarks. Come on, get up these stairs. 
Just see if me actually walking in has actually given any... Yeah, it has. Okay, so that means I've got to reset the quarry. Okay, fine. Just to be awkward, I will actually do that off camera. And I will end this episode here. So, um, I will hopefully be doing some more work on the shell. Uh, later today um, and then I can hopefully finish it off tomorrow because obviously I don't have to go to work I've got to go and do some shopping uh, because on Saturday it is my mom's birthday uh, so I need to go and get her a present and things like that no idea what I'm going to get her uh, so and then we'll see what happens for the weekend so thank you very much for joining me I hope that you have a very good day I will see you next time. Bye.